Hello Occultist Lux family and welcome back to another video. Today we will talk about Franz Barden. He is a figure that most people in the occult and esoteric circles don't really know about, or at least many people have not heard of him before or his work. This will be a short introduction to him, his life, work and his unfortunate experience with the Third Reich. Franz Barden, a name that resonates with mysticism and the arcane, was one of the most influential occultists of the 20th century. His life and work have left an incredible mark on the world of esotericism and his teachings continue to inspire countless seekers of spiritual knowledge. Born on December 1, 1909 in Opava, a city in the Czech Republic, Franz Barden grew up in a world where the mystical and the mundane intertwined. The region, with its rich history of alchemy and hermeticism, provided a fertile ground for Barden's spiritual inclinations. Franz Barden's father, Victor Barden, was also involved with spiritual and esoteric practices. Victor Barden was known to be a mystic and played a significant role in influencing and guiding Franz in his early years. It is believed that Franz Barden's early exposure to esoteric teachings and practices, partially due to his father's influences, laid the foundation for his later works and contributions to Hermeticism and the occult. By the time he reached adulthood, he had already delved deep into the mysteries of the universe, exploring the intricate tapestry of hermetic magic, Kabbalah, and alchemy. However, as Barden's teachings began to spread, Europe was on the brink of one of its darkest chapters, the rise of the Third Reich. The Nazi regime, under the leadership of Adolf Hitler, was rapidly consolidating power, and its tentacles were reaching every corner of the continent. But beyond their political and military ambitions, the Nazis had another, more covert interest, the world of the occult. Historical records and accounts from the era suggest that key figures within the Nazi hierarchy, especially Heinrich Himmler and the elite SS, were deeply fascinated by the ancient Germanic myths, the supernatural, and the potential of harnessing these esoteric powers. The Annen Erbe, an institute founded by Himmler, was dedicated to researching archaeological and cultural history of the Aryan race, but it also delved into the mystical and occult practices. Barden, with its profound knowledge and expertise, soon came onto the Nazi radar. His works, particularly initiation into hermetics, provided a structured path to spiritual enlightenment and magical prowess. To the Nazis, this was not just a philosophical treatise, but a potential manual to gain powers beyond the ordinary. In 1945, as the war raged on, Barden's life took a dramatic turn. SS officers acting on orders from higher-ups arrested him. Officially, the charges were non-participation in the war effort, but those in the esoteric circles knew the real reason. Barden's unparalleled knowledge of the magical arts. Inside the concentration camp, Barden faced immeasurable pressure. The Nazis wanted him to collaborate, to share his secrets, and to assist them in their dark rituals. Rumors circulated that they sought the Philosopher's Stone, a legendary alchemical substance, or that they wanted to conduct rituals to ensure their victory in the war. But Barden, despite the harsh conditions and threats, remained steadfast. He understood the dangers of the knowledge he possessed, especially in the hands of a regime as malevolent as the Nazis. Magic, in Barden's philosophy, was deeply intertwined with the practitioner's moral and ethical stance. The purity of the intent was paramount. The Nazis, with their agenda of hate and domination, were ill-suited to truly harness the powers of the occult. As days turned into weeks, Barden's resilience became a beacon of hope for other prisoners. 
whispers of the magician who defied the SS spread throughout the camp. Many found solace in the idea that even in the face of such evil, the human spirit could remain unbroken. The war eventually came to an end and the concentration camps were liberated. Barden returned to Opava, scarred but not defeated. He continued his work, writing more about Hermeticism and guiding those who sought spiritual enlightenment. In retrospect, Barden's life during the Nazi era serves as a testament to the indomitable human spirit. It's a story of resilience, of the battle between light and dark, and the enduring power of knowledge. While the Nazis sought to harness the occult for their nefarious purposes, individuals like Barden stood as guardians of the sacred, ensuring that the profound mysteries of the universe were not misused. Barden's most significant contribution to the world of occultism is his three-volume series on Hermeticism. Introduction into Hermetics this foundational work provides a systematic course in spiritual self-realization and is considered by many to be the most comprehensive guide in the Western path of initiation. The practice of magical evocation. Here, Barden delves into the art of magical evocation, detailing the process of summoning spiritual entities and working with them. The key to the true Kabbalah. In this volume, Barden explores the mysteries of Kabbalah, offering insights into the structure of the universe and the human soul. Apart from his written works, Barden is also known for his practical approach to magic. He emphasized the importance of inner development and self-discipline, asserting that true magical prowess could only be achieved through rigorous inner work. Barden is said to have used his knowledge of Hermeticism and the occult to heal people. In his writings and teachings, Barden emphasized the importance of understanding and harnessing the universal energies present in nature and within oneself. He believed that by mastering these energies, one could bring about physical, emotional, and spiritual healing. There are accounts and anecdotes from people who knew Barden or studied under him that suggest he performed healing on various occasions. His deep understanding of the elements, as well as the astral and mental planes, allowed him to diagnose and treat various ailments. While Barden's teachings are unique, they are rooted in the rich tapestry of Western esoteric traditions. He was influenced by the teachings of Hermeticism, Kabbalah, and alchemy. The writings of Paracelsus, a renowned alchemist and physician, and the teachings of the Rosicrucians, a mystical Christian fellowship, also played a role in shaping Barden's perspectives. Barden was also deeply influenced by Eastern philosophies, particularly the concepts of karma and reincarnation. He believed in the cyclical nature of existence. Today, Barden's teachings continue to inspire and guide seekers of spiritual wisdom. His emphasis on self-realization and inner transformation resonates with many who are on the path of spiritual awakening. His works are considered timeless classics in the realm of Western esotericism, and his legacy as a pioneering occultist remain unparalleled. If you would like to learn more about Franz Barden and his system, subscribe to my channel. I am planning to make many more videos on Barden and his system, especially initiation into Hermetics. We'll go step by step into his system and potentially his other works in the future. Thanks for watching, I hope that you learned something. Take care and I'll catch you guys in the next one.